up everybody so um, I didn't get the chance to make an intro um, what we're going to be doing is industrial bearing removal basically this is just going to be us removing pulley a hub and a bearing from a cooling tower so hope you guys enjoy I haven't done a work video yet so here's my truck just to let you guys see what I do every day and um, yeah I had to get back to driving so enjoy the video alright we got this here pulley we got the hub fucking ripping this bitch off right now it's almost out oh, it's going crooked look at the shit boys by the way it's a cooling tower we got here I'm gonna let that uh, fill over there I have a rubber mallet, eh? Nah, steel works better. That's it. There's your hub right there. Piece of shit. This is the pulley, it comes right out. Oh, right on. Sit on the side. This is a fucking helper carrying the pulley and the hub. See what we got here. So for all of you, do those of you who don't know, that's what the uh, bearing looks like when it's fucking dicked. They do it properly. Take so here's two. a pillow block bearing. The way you get it off, there's a race right here. You get a set screw, Allen head bolt, you loosen that. Then uh, it should slide right off. You're gonna have to sand down the shaft, clean it off, and then we're gonna be taking off this bearing right here, which we're probably gonna need pullers for. Come back at you in a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we're back at her. What are we doing now? Sanding down the shaft. All these rust spots, like you see there, they gotta be completely clean. Apologize for the camera as well. This stuff here, gotta get right off. It's important to clean that shaft to make sure uh, you have a nice even surface. You don't have any gouges, otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to. Uh, Pull off the bearing. Got two of these set screws here. You don't gotta take the braid out, you just gotta loosen them. That should be more than enough. That. You want to use either a socket or a closed end wrench for this. Don't use an adjustable or open end. If there's a lot of grease on there, you can smack it down. And then if it's tight and you can't really get it, what you want to do is use your hammer. What happens if you uh, if you use the open end? You're probably a fucking idiot. Slip off, crack your knuckles. This here too is good for rust. The shock from the hammer. Vibrates the rust. And that's it, you're home free. Number three tip. This your winner. You guys at home are uh, curious to know. 
so we're back at her. A stubborn bearing over here. Woo. No light required with that. Alright, so what we're doing now is just uh, heating up the bearing to make it expand. That way we can uh, use the pulley pullers or the bearing pullers to um, bring the bearing off of the shaft. Sometimes when stuff's a little bit stubborn, you have to just give it a little bit of persuasion. But uh, be careful you don't fucking have holes in this shaft. Fucking burn the shit out of yourself. A lot of times too, you gotta be careful you don't just heat one spot too much, otherwise uh, you might get some warpage. And uh, try not to start a grease fire. Is your fire extinguisher handy? We're just going to let it smoke for a bit to uh, provide some extra heat. And here you go. What you want to do is have a look and see uh, if your bearing starts moving off the shaft. If you're having a really hard time, then uh, go back to the torch. Heat up as, uh, as required, as needed. It's good too just to have a mark somewhere on that shaft. That way uh, you know if it's moving or not, but generally you can just look at it. Oh, there we go. I think we just broke the, uh, the stubbornness of it, and as you can see, slowly but surely we're moving. Sometimes too, uh, you just have a bit of rust on those shafts and bearings, and it's some rust breaker. Most of the time, with uh, sanding the shaft down, does the trick, but. Put a rust breaker on when you're heating. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Careful too when uh, you're heating stuff. Not to uh, heat flammable materials. Slowly, once uh, your bearing's almost off. Well done. That's it. Just make sure you grab yourself a rag or some gloves or something if you're still hot. You can even cool it down, but it's best just to leave it hot so it's still expanded. As you can see, since this thing is kind of a uh, industrial scale, we have a shitty little piece of wood here to keep our shaft from falling. And we're going to go over to the next side and um, do the other bearing. All right, folks, setting up our pullers here. But uh, we ran into a little issue. You see the big hole in this shaft. We're not going to be able to press down in it. No colors. Shit, buddy. So what we got here is we got a little spacer. We use that spacer, and that way we're not something to push off. And that bolt should be strong enough. 
to get in there and get the job done. Well, uh, there we are, folks. We're just using a bolt with um, three washers here. We stick it in the shaft. That way, our pulley puller bit or tip can um, allow these fucking tarantula claws to pull. T-Rex puller. T-Rex puller. Correction. And um, there's also adjustments as well. If you guys are unfamiliar with pulley pullers, you show me adjustments. And one, two, three, you can adjust it according to what you need. The further away what you're pulling, the further you're going to move this claws out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what you do. You just pull out the bolt and nut. And uh, you should be uh, good there. <laughs> she gets a little greasy when you have to eat it there. Oh, carried away there.